testing out my Riptide 74 pound thrust with actually 24 volts because I've been using it with one battery and it's only been putting out 35 and a half so and what's cool is it's variable speed so if I just turn it a little bit I mean it's That's ridiculous for a troll motor. 24 pound thrust. And I did it once with two of those batteries and it did about the same thing. One's an AGM and the other one's a regular lawn and garden battery, but yeah, they're both putting out 24 volts. Here's another tip. I extended the handle on my Minn Kota Riptide. This is one inch PVC, so I just took a block of three quarter inch cutting board, cut me a little chunk out of it. I rounded that one that way, I rounded this one this way, so I've got a swivel handle on my troll motor. I can turn it on from here and steer it. Raise, lower the speed. That way I could sit over here and control the troll motor. Actually, does this one pull out? I don't think this one pulls out. No. My other troll motor, the handle, the handle pulls out. But... And man, this thing's got a lot of juice in reverse too. I barely turned it up and I can hear that water moving. Look at that. But what's cool about this troll motor is if you just click it on, even just turning it on, the troll motor is probably spinning. Just it's just doing this. And you can't see in there because the water's a little dirty because I ran my gas motor in there. But it's only at twenty percent. Right there's twenty percent. So right there's about what I get with one battery. Holy smoke. That'll really move my little intruder. I made this extension out of one inch PVC. The little short piece that's on the troll motor handle, I heated it till it was soft and then slid it over to conform to the handle. The uh, universal part can be made of plastic. I made mine out of uh, cutting board. You can use a little block of wood if you like. And the troll motor can be controlled from any angle. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and send me a dollar.